Okay, I thought I'd do a follow-up on this uh, piano wire motor that I'm using a uh, stiff piano wire for the uh, axle of the shaft on the motor. And there were some really interesting questions on the uh, last video that uh, I answered, uh, but I'll, I'll kind of go through them right now. The first one was Maggie. And those of you that haven't followed me for years and years, um, this is a coil of wire. That's all it is with a bridge rectifier attached to the two ends of the coil. It's 40 gauge, very, very fine magnet wire. The LEDs are in parallel. Uh, there's no batteries there. And uh, they go on the end of the bridge rectifier. These pigtails are things that I can take off the uh, energy and take a look at the amount of uh, voltage and amperage. And uh, she just works with a spinning magnet. And because the fine wire is so fine, um, you can get the LEDs to light up um, very easily with a spinning magnet, not even close to the induction coil. The closer you get it, the brighter her eyes. But that's what Maggie is, uh, just a coil of fine, fine magnet wire with uh, two LEDs in parallel coming off a bridge rectifier. These are the test leads so I can look at voltage and uh, amperage. She's a tool. I've used it for years and years. Now I modified this thing today and I put a, um, a solar uh, cell on it. That's out of a solar garden light. And then I changed the capacitor from the super capacitor to a 100 microfarad uh, electrolytic uh, that goes across the uh, rails. This was the circuit diagram here. And somebody wanted to know how this all worked. That uh, I don't think they understood that this is not a regular capacitor. In this last video, it was a super capacitor, which is like a battery. And um, the reason this rotor wobbled like this, he thought that there was current actually going through the circuit. And uh, what's really going on is there's a ferrite core in that drive coil, and the magnet's being attracted to the ferrite core. And until this gets going fast, uh, it doesn't uh, create enough trigger current to open the transistor. But let me show you how this uh, this works today. By the way, uh, it's a generator too. If you rotate the shaft manually, you generate electricity, which I thought was kind of fun. But let me take this out. I'll show you how it works in the sun. It's a pretty cool little solar motor, actually. And of course, you take it out of the sunlight, and it just slows down and stops. But uh, anyway, this was a follow-up on the on the piano wire motor. Uh, this is the uh, same idea I was working with before, where you take a, just a machine screw. These are steel machine screws with a needle and good lubrication. And uh, this one's running on ambient light here in the room. And the idea of just using a machine screw for the bearing point, these are Chinese steel screws I got at the dollar store. They're soft steel. I don't even know what the alloy is, but the hardened needle uh, is harder than the uh, screws. So you've got a bearing surface of the hardened needle against the soft steel. And with the right kind of lubricant, it actually works pretty darn good. And uh, this one, like I say, was a, a real fun one to do. And uh, anyway, that's the piano wire motor, the solar piano wire motor. Thanks for watching.